This is the second video of ICM basic tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to import network data. So um, ICM currently supports uh, three map control. Um, one is Map Extreme, second is ArcGIS Engine, the third is ArcGIS Desktop. So if you are licensed to use more than one map control, you want you can change it. So first we go to Tools, um, Options. And then on the unit tab, we want to click on metric native. Um, so ICM has three defaults um, um, display units. All of the data you import into ICM will be using the displays units showing in this window here. Um, so after we change the metric uh, units, we can click OK to confirm it. So the third step is to um, create a new map. So you can right click on the um, Langley catchment study uh, model group and then select new InfoWorks and then select InfoWorks network and then you can um, see um, there's a window popping up and you can type in the name here. Okay, so we're going to name uh, this network as Langley network. So then we want to open this network. So if you expand this uh, model group, you can see um, the Langley network is showing up at the bottom of the network list. And you can either drag it to the geo plan, or you can right click on the network and then click open, or you can just simply double click to open the network. So um, this is the network we opened. And you can click on the maximize button to maximize the window, or you can double click on here to maximize it. Um, so next, we want to ensure that the coordinate system is set to one of the British coordinate systems. So in order to do that, we can go to tools and then options, and then there is a geo plan, and then we want to select the map control. Here is a uh, map extreme. Um, Make sure that you uh, select the map extreme um, the map control here. Um, sometimes um, uh, it uh, you may want to select the uh, uh, GIS desktop option if you have GIS um, a GIS license. But for this training, we are going to use map extreme. Um, and then uh, we can go to geo plan and then set coordinate system. And then uh, if you have a map extreme um, maps, uh, map control uh, selected, you should see the identical window like here. If you see it like a differently, you might change, you might need to change your uh, map control. So um, under the projection section, we uh, click on the dot 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 button. And then we want to select the British national grid. So um, just search this. So British coordinate system, um, national grid, EPSG, yeah, this one. And then you can click OK, and then click Open. Um, so now that we have our um, unit set up and we have our geo uh, plan um, coordinate system set up, we can start importing uh, the network data. So uh, we can go to network and then click on import and then open data import center. <coughs> There's a table to import data into. You can select node to uh, import the node data first. And then under the data source section, you, we can select um, different types of data we want to import. Um, uh, for the training, we have a map info tab file and we have raw shape file. You can select either of them. Uh, for uh, for the training, I will just select raw shape file. Um, after you select the uh, data source type, you can uh, click on the dot 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 button um, to select the um, path. Um, go to the tutorial folder that you just downloaded on the first training. Uh, you can select ICM and then basic tutorial, 
tutorial files, import styles, GS data. So based on what uh, what uh, data source you selected, you can select either arc view for shape file or map info for map info tab file. Since I selected a uh, raw shape file, I can click on the uh, arc view to select the shape file I want. Here I can select IW node shape dot shape file to uh, select the uh, shape file. Okay, so next we want to do is to map the uh, correct fields to ICM. Um, so in your, in your shape file, you probably have a lot of uh, attribute. Uh, we want to map the attribute to the ICM object fields. Um, so you can click on auto map. So I, ICM will identify like similar names um, based on um, the, the object fields name in ICM. And uh, you can also, uh, you know, um, uh, customize it like this. And you can, after you make some customization, you can uh, save your configuration to uh, redo, reuse it next time. Um, but for now, I will just click on Auto Map because the name is pretty much matched here. So I can, um, after you map the uh, mapping configuration, uh, you can click on import. So you can see the summary of the uh, import result here, and then you can just click OK. Another thing I want to mention is that you have uh, updating and delete options here. You have prompt, merge, override, and ignore options. And you also have a bunch of checkbox here. So uh, these options are used if you have duplicated uh, model ID or asset ID. For example, uh, it, it depends on what options you check. So if you can, if you check update based on asset ID, ICM will use asset ID to uh, as a unique ID to identify if this is the same object. If you uncheck this, it's usually um, the node ID. Uh, will be used to be uh, will be used to identify um, if it's a same object, and um, so prompt uh, will give you options if ICM detects uh, the duplication. Merge ICM will um, uh, keep the original data but um, write in the new data for the duplicated record. Override uh, is pretty much really self-explanatory. It will um, overwrite the existing data in ICM with the, uh, with the file data you import. And ignore, it will basically ignore that um, imported data if you have um, a duplication. Um, so for this uh, training, I will just leave this um, as it is because we don't really have a duplication. Um, it's all new data because we have a blank network. Okay, so with that being said, I will keep um, keep going. Um, so the A step, we want to import the conduit data. To do that, we want we can change the table to import data into uh, drop down menu to be conduit, and then we can uh, keep the data source as raw shape file, and then click on the dot dot dot, and then um, click on IW com dot shape. And then again, we can use auto map because it's uh, the name is pretty much matched up for you. So um, you can click on auto map, and then you can review the configuration here. And then we can click import, and then you can see the uh, summary again here. Okay, so um, for the ten step, we want to repeat all of the previous step to import our face pump subcatchment and wheel. Um, so we want to do our face first. Again, we want to uh, select the um, IW underscore our face shape and then auto map. And we do it and then and then pump. Select table to import data into to be pump. Select the correct um, shape file and then auto map and then import. We're going to do the same thing for subcatchment. And, and then the last.
last one is where black where shape file and then auto map and then import okay um, after we import all of the data we can click uh, click close to close the um, this so as you can see um, I have um, my network data imported um, I have some um, um, formatting uh, about the um, um, shape shape uh, about the um, subcatchment so I um, so if you zoom out yeah it doesn't really show the subcatchment but if you zoom in it will show you the subcatchment this circle um, and then we can review to see if we have this uh, Langley network data under the um, model group so for the 11th step we want to update the network with the data in the uh, CSV file so um, to deal with CSV data source we have uh, two options um, basically, if uh, you can uh, import CSV data, still use the Open Data Import Center, um, and then under the uh, source type, you can select the CSV file here. However, if you have a, um, a, a CSV file that you exported from ICM, so so that the format of your CSV is the um, ICM formatted data, you can use the um, network import and then um, update from CSV file option. And now we can see we have a like a more simplified version of uh, import center, kind of just for the um, ICM formatted CSV file. So we can see uh, we have type of update and then you can basically select uh, which one you want. For the training, we will select update and add. And then we can uh, make sure that we use IDs to be our uh, block headers. So it will use IDs to identify if it's uh, duplication, if it's a new, a new object, um, if, it's, uh, 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 if you want to update or if you want to add. And then um, all data in the, um, in the database have a data flag, so um, you can you know, change um, change uh, change it to like only update existing data that has a flag of something. But for now, we will just leave as it leave as leave this unchecked. We want to update all of the data. So and then we can click on OK. So now we want to open the um, ICM data source. So um, we can go to import files, um, CSV data. And then we have storage on this one no uh, CSV. And then we can click on this and then click open. Okay, after the data has been imported, um, the import directory is really displayed. You can click on cancel to cancel the um, update. And then you can see there's a summary here. It says uh, modify two objects. And then we can uh, right click on this tab and then choose clip close tab or you can just simply click on this close button here to close the window okay so now we uh, updated the uh, two storage node we want to commit the change um, commit the change is basically similar to the save button you want to commit the unchanged uh, network uh, to your master database so um, you can either right click on the um, the network and then click on commit changes or you can just click on this button to commit the changes after you click on that button you will see this um, window pop up and then you can give it some comments um, you can call it imported data to network And then you can choose OK, and it will ask you if you want to validate the model. Uh, for now, we'll just click on No. We don't want to validate it, and we, want, we just want to save it. So um, as you can see, the uh, red expl explanation um, symbol disappeared. It means that you don't have any unchanged, change, uh, uncommitted changes in this network. So um, that 
through this training.